welcome. My name is Chris Palmer. If you are brand new here, welcome to Chris Palmer SEO. In today's video, I wanted to discuss something that has came up numerous times uh, helping some of my partner's client sites. Um, and that is on-page SEO with WordPress. And I, I want to let you know a mistake that I continuously see with WordPress. Um, and that is do not use um, heading tags and bold and italic for design features. OK, and what I mean by this is a lot of times when I'm helping my partner, um, I see that within the design, they are using numerous uh, H1 tags, for instance. Um, they're positioning their H2s and H3s in different order. And really the WordPress SEO tip that I would like to give to you and a mistake that needs to be uh, eradicated is going to be when you're setting up your WordPress website. Okay, long story short is this. You do not want to use your headings and other features, right? H1s, H2s, H3s, and so on, bolds, italics. You do not want to use these things, all right, these tools, uh, these heading tags uh, for design purposes. So really when you're setting up your website, uh, you want to think of everything in a chronological order. Uh, you have your H1, right? There's always, and most of the time, there should only be H1 towards the top of the page. Um, and then you'll have your H2 tags, okay? H2, H2, H2. Um, depending on your uh, SERP analysis, all right, your competition analysis, depending on how many H2s and H3s that your competition ranking above you is using, that's when you would make your decision on should you use H3s, how many H3s, uh, and also H4s. Now, generally, I personally do not go any farther. Um, that is just the practice that I generally follow. However, uh, the purpose of this video is to help you with your WordPress SEO and try to stop using your heading tags and your bolds and your italics for design features. Uh, they are meant to be set up um, in this type of order to help search engines understand your page and to emphasize certain pieces on your website. And also, these are very important elements for your on-page SEO for ranking within search engines. So you're going to want to, first and foremost, analyze your competition. Uh, but with that being said, you want to keep everything uh, just like this in your order, you'll have your H1s, your H2s, your H3s, your H4s, depending on your competition's page. So I hope this WordPress SEO, uh, on-page SEO mistake video has helped you. If it has, please, I urge you to give this a like. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and give me a like anyway, and I look forward to seeing you in the next WordPress SEO video. Have a wonderful day.